Rebecca. Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. I like your view. You know, it's far better than what's really behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I say my I've got the low end of the building, so everything kind of just migrates down here because it's just gravity. So, <laughs> so just, that's what I tell people, at least. Uh, you still have that guy in there? Pardon? Do you still have that guy? There was a giant stand-up person. No, he's, I was there. He, he's moved on. So actually, <laughs> actually, I think he's folded up in the in the corner. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> folded in the corner. Maybe we'll bring him out for the holidays. <laughs> what kind of guy is this? <laughs> someone, someone dropped off a. They thought it'd be interesting. A. Um, it was a military recruitment. Uh, a man and a woman from like the mid seventies. Very very dated. But I kept him because he looks just like my father-in-law. Is it so, a cutout? Is it a yeah? It's a cutout. A stand okay. like a stand-up thing. Life oh, wow. size. Yeah, oh, totally wow. life size. He's like six two, but it's it's really dated. So do you do you dress him up for the different uh, seasons? Put a mask yeah, put, on him for Halloween and well, put a. We, we used uh, to put people when we used to have birthday celebrations. I'd put pictures of the whoever's birthday is oh, a nice. man and a woman so that's you know but uh it ha, it's been it's been it hasn't been getting the work he usually gets this time of year so. mm. <laughs> yeah maybe i'll maybe he'll be my background you're right that's a good idea <laughs> hey everybody we Hello. have we have a we have a guest hi david excellent Hi, I, I'm so glad to uh, join in your meeting today. Well, welcome. Hi, I'm Maitreya. Yeah. So I'm David, David is a neighbor of mine, and I've asked him if he'd like to be on the board, and he's been down and discussed with Becca, had a tour. Great. And he's visiting tonight. And I don't know, Matilda, have you heard from the woman from Watsonville whether she'll be joining? She won't be joining us? No, she um, she said she might, and she would let me know if she was going to. And I've just checked my mail again, and she didn't. So um, I think that she's she had some things to take care of before she could come. She's definitely going to come in January. OK, great. Well, I just so want to back say to you are still the um, disappearing invisible woman. Do I have like a hole in my shoulder again? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and right through the chair. Yeah, I think it's because it's, it's whatever you have behind you. It's I, I, I saw that on someone else's the other yeah, day. Yeah, it's my just, chair, I think. And no, I don't have the chair disappears I too. Don't chair. have enough light for my green screen, I think. So now it's a mask instead of a real key. So I'm probably masking out <laughs> how black it is. Oh, it'll right, be David, fun. You started to say something, David? Uh oh, I I'm just honored to be among such creative people. I was looking at your bios and uh, i'm i'm really honored oh uh, nice to uh, have you yes and and david david is the the person who was kind of responsible for me to work a year and a half at apple because oh, it, was okay. his, it was in his class the uh, hypercard class that i met the person his co-teacher and then i ended up he, i and another person from that class ended up working at Apple. Do you remember uh, that, David? Yeah. You weren't in my video class, were you? I was in your HyperCard class. Oh, OK. I took HyperCard, a that, that, that brings back memories. <laughs> oh, yeah. I took a couple classes from your PageMaker and things like that. OK. So yeah, I, I'd love it, uh, David. And I think you'll love it, too, to join community television. Well, I'm excited and, uh, you know, I'm still considering it. I wanted to meet all of you and uh, get a kind of savor uh, what a meeting looks like. Well, uh, a pandemic meeting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, it looks yeah. a lot like most of the other meetings you're having these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we've got the perfect nine, uh, you know, tic-tac-toe uh, board now, right. which, which will be spoiled if anybody else joins, but um, <laughs> we are waiting for... Uh, well, if we get another three, then it will be a perfect 12. Yeah, there we go. And as long as you're not the 12 angry men, right? Right. <laughs> so uh, no, last time, angry. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Shaw had some technical... Well, actually, she had no... I think she had no power. Uh, at her place, oh. um, but so let's see. Uh, who else are we waiting for? 
Elizabeth. Oh, Joe yeah. Hall. No, I don't see Joe. Yep. And yeah. And Th Thomas here. So. I just heard from Joe. I didn't. I couldn't get the call in time, but I guess he's having trouble getting in. Well, you know. You need to. You need to let him in. I can let him in, but he's not. Uh, is wait, he not on the participants? Is he on the phone? I'm looking to see if he is. He's not in the list. I heard a phone ring, but I don't see anybody in the list who isn't in the meeting. Okay, so, but we'll give everybody a, a, a few more minutes to join before we. See where Joe is. That was that was Joe just called me. He's I gave him the number. He's trying to get in now. I had trouble getting in too. I tried using the link that you sent, and it said the meeting was. There's another. We were meeting. in a different meeting, and then the meeting had ended. And well, what happened was I used my link, but uh, no one came. So I looked at the agenda, and it was a different link in the agenda. So I so I ended that meeting and opened this one, figuring everybody would probably go by the agenda instead of my calendar right. thingy. So, right. so he should be showing up momentarily. Yeah. Everyone's migrating over, I guess. Well, we can next. We'll just make sure the agenda has that one. And yeah, then we'll be fine. It was, well, it's in a I copied meeting, it. So I it, copied it from a previous one, and it did say. Uh, well, I only can I set him up for like eight weeks in advance, eight eight times, and then it cancels. Uh, and I have to do it again. So you might have gotten the last one, one or something, and uh, then you had to re up. Sorry, I'll send you the link if I do well, that. Again. Luckily, it's going to be somebody else's problems. <laughs> <laughs> so you say. Well, <laughs> it'll be my problem to join, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll still have to be able to join the meeting. But um, I won't have to worry about what link to put in the agenda. Not seeing um, Joe yet. Unless I'm helping out E. It, the posi position does come with uh, one free year of tech support. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in my case, I got I got Keith to give me two. <laughs> and he's, he's still been helping me out, so. OK, he's trying again. He got the number wrong. OK, right. I don't see him. Isn't that a Beatles song? Got the number wrong, or he's trying again. We're on the zoom on the we're on the zoom on the after one oh nine oh nine. Zoom after nine oh nine. Oh yeah, that's what that is. I can never understand that lyric. That's what it is. <laughs> zoom after. Maybe he's coming on the one after nine oh nine. Yeah. <laughs> there must be a story behind that. I I would like to know the story behind. She came in through the bathroom window. Oh right. <laughs> I'm sure they had all kinds of people doing strange things to try to get to them uh, <laughs> back in the days of Beatlemania. Maybe, they, God, that is awful. You're still not seeing him? Nope, I don't, do you? All right, no, I can't, I wouldn't be able to, but um, I'm gonna send him the number, text him the number, maybe he's gotten the number wrong again. Okay. You don't see him in the- uh... on the, He can click on the link in the agenda and yeah. then he wouldn't have to type the number in if he's got the agenda. Teams has a way you can actually call people, right? You can call out. Does Zoom have that where you can call out to people? Mm, no, think, they no, can call it in. Has to be, I think it's still initiated. It has to be initiated from the client side. Oh. Um, they can call me, but mm. if they can do that, they can get in the meeting. <laughs> you can invite them by clicking on invite on the participants. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Or is that just send an email though? No, yeah, it's-, it's Let's see. I'll-, it's, I'll choose yeah i can send him an email um let's see gmail david it usually works a little better than this just so <laughs> okay he's trying again okay i'm sending him a link in case that i i work. sent him i sent him the number i texted him the number as well so he okay should. you mean so the number or the join by phone or join the meeting by zoom oh there he is he's here Ta -da. Yay. Oh, give him a clap when he comes in there he is. Well, <laughs> hey. nope, doesn't hear us. <laughs> hey, Joe. Joe's muted for some reason. I'll. Joe, you're muted. There, there he is. you go. Welcome. Thank you, Tom. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right. I guess we're we're almost at five ten. I mean, should we just c c carry on or give Elizabeth one more minute? Um, well, there was another meeting power. today she didn't attend. She may be having problems with her web web again. I'm thinking. Okay. All right. All right. Well, in, in the interest of uh, if anybody else has a grumbling stomach like mine, uh, let's call to order the
the uh, November 23rd, 2020 meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County. Uh, I'll note the time is 5.09, and this is our last meeting of the year, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Uh, would the secretary kindly call the roll? Yes. Chair Maziarz. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Mannheim. Here. Director O'Driscoll. Janice, you're muted. Director Lanier. Here. Director Shaw. Director Gudger. Here. All right. Thank you very much. I'll note that we do have a quorum and then some. Um, so we can uh, move on to item number two, which is oral communications. Uh, we actually do have a guest today. Um, any person can address the board during oral communications period um, and so on and so forth. If you have the agenda in front of you, uh, uh, would our, our guest like to address us? We already had a, a quick introduction, but I think uh, Director Hall didn't get a chance to meet uh, Mr. Warren. Did you want to say anything? Uh, you're muted. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Hello. Hi, David. <laughs> ah, you know each other. Okay. Uh, any, anything else in public comment? Oral communication? All right. Um, our oral communications are not nearly as exciting as the Board of Supervisors or the City Councils, I must say. But um, we, we kind of like it that way. Um, so we can move on to item three, uh, consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions and deletions. Are there any uh, additions or deletions that we need to make to the agenda? All right, seeing none, we can move on to the consent agenda, which is items four and five. Item four is to approve the minutes of our last board meeting of October 26, 2020. And item five is to approve the recommendation of the finance committee to accept the October 2020 financial reports. Would our finance committee chair, or our, um, our oh, no, vice first chair, the finance committee chair, first the finance committee chair. All right. Would you like to comment at all on those financial reports? Well, Overall? since I was late, I will keep it short. The most important part of it's in Becca's report. So we'll leave it there in terms of our cash flow off the rental of the offices. So um, uh, other than that, um, we're here, which is great news. One other thing, we still don't have the uh, EID loan. It's one of the SBA loans that were done under the CARES Act. We qualified. I'll let Becca talk about that, but just so you're up to date on where we are. Anyhow, uh, I don't have any other comments unless there's some questions. Thank you very much, um, and Mr. If Treasurer. You allow me, Chair. Yes, I, Vice Chair Rand, my, please. My last act uh, during my term, I would like to uh, propose that we approve the consent agenda. Um, I, sorry to interrupt. I. I have a small correction on the minutes. Go ahead. Um, under, under under number seven, oral report from Volunteer Advisory Committee, just to set the record so the record's oh, clear. I, that's, I, I did not, um, that was not my comment. I'm guessing it was Keith's. It was, it was, my, that's, a, that's a typo. Thank you for pointing okay. that out. Yeah, sorry. Nope. Then I would like, as my last act in my term on the board, uh, propose that we approve the consent agenda with the slight uh, correction in the minutes. I'll second that. All right. We have a, a motion from uh, Vice Chair Rand and a second from Director Mannheim. Uh, so I, uh, any further comment? comment? I have yes. a comment, actually. Um, since Director Rand usually is very quick to move adjournment. I would suggest that maybe this is the penultimate um, move for her. To <laughs> well, I can't, I cannot adjourn the meeting because basically after this item, I am no longer on the board. Okay. Well, after Fair. the next item. Okay. I stand yes, correct. after the next item. That you're assuming that you know we could have writing candidates. <laughs> Somebody could nominate you. You might not be. You might not escape. And who knows that the new chair may uh, decide to to assume dictatorial powers and <laughs> <laughs> overthrow the election. Okay. Well, we have a motion to second. Is there any further comment on on this uh, consent agenda? All right. Seeing none. Secretary, would you kindly call the roll? Director Rand. Yeah. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Chair Maziarz. Aye. Director Mannheim. Yes. 
Director Gudger? Yes. Director Lanier? Yes. Director Hall? Yes. Director uh, Laurent? Yes. Approved unanimously. All right, thank you very much. All right, well, moving on, I know we're probably all suffering from some election fatigue, but uh, we have one more election. Hopefully it will be less contentious. Um, it is not as, of, as, um, I I as much international import as the one that we just survived or, or still surviving through. But uh, item number six is the election of officers to uh, the board of directors of the board of directors of community television. Um, uh, do we have uh, a proposed slate of uh, officers? I'm looking at you, Director Mannheim. Oh, really? Oh, uh, nobody. Told I'm told. I'm told it's. I'm told it's the custom. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, in that case, um, since I happen to notice that the check signing policy lists a new slate of characters, let me propose. <laughs> uh, not the check signing policy. It was the re resolution. Sorry. Let me propose that our new board consists of Guy Lanier as board chair, who I think will do a terrific job. Joe Hall as treasurer, who has and hopefully will continue to do a terrific job. Uh, Maitreya Maziers as our vice chair, stepping down one peg, um, who's done a terrific job as chair and I think will be able to a good second in command, and Larry Lorenz is secretary, who continues to do a great job on our, you just got a promotion from good to great, I don't know if you heard that, Larry, <laughs> on our secretary. So that would be, I would propose that slate of four um, nominees to lead us over the next year. Second. We have a motion from Director Mannheim and a second from Director Gudger. Uh, any comments from board members on that uh, I have Director a, Hall? actually i think it's uh, kind of um a day of importance because on the federal level they're starting a transition and here we're doing it on the same day so it's uh, kind of a good omen for the future very good all right well uh, before i uh, ask the vote to be called i would like to say a few things i just want to thank everybody for your patience uh this was definitely um an honor and a privilege to serve as board chair for the last two years. Um, you know, uh, I, I certainly appreciate everybody's support and all of your guidance. I certainly couldn't have done it, um, you know, held it together without uh, a lot of hand holding. So um, I'm very grateful for that. And I'm glad that I get to continue uh, serving the board in a um, another slightly diminished capacity. Um, so um, if there's no other further comment, I'll ask our uh, great secretary to <laughs> call the roll. Uh, so uh, Director O'Driscoll? Yes. Uh, Director Mannheim? Yes. Director Gudger? Yes. Director Lanier? Yes. Director Hall? Yes. And so let me just make this, Director Rand is no longer on the board, is that? Not until the, wait, she is until the vote is is, is no 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 i think i think uh i am off the board uh because usually what you would have done at this point you would have said goodbye to me and you would have invited okay. uh our new person from watsonville but okay. she's not here today so you do that in january but you okay. would just say goodbye to me and and you are your own team now well, and i wish you lots of uh success not luck, uh, because you uh, have that already. Success. I, I, I beg to differ. A little point of order, which is until we have voted for and have a new leadership group, you're still on the board, aren't you? That makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, it does I'll be make happy sense to me. vote on this because <laughs> I like I like the team of officers. Uh, if if Director Laurent wants to call on me, I'll be happy to vote. Director Rand. Yes. Director Rand. <laughs> well, yes. Chair so Aye. I, I, okay. So um, yes, I, I that was a big omission. Um, former uh, Vice Chair Emeritus Rand. Um, thank you so much for uh, all of your jovial service um, on the board and and you know, as, like Director Gudger, a tireless volunteer in 
all of your contributions to community television, cataloging all the equipment, you know, beyond serving on the board here and, and being the, um, the, the Hawkeyes on the minutes um, and, and uh, in many other ways, your service on the board is appreciated. Um, and I'm looking forward to um, your continued uh, member, you know, uh, involvement in the organization as a member. And uh, I'm sure you'll stay on the volunteer advisory committee and, and um, um, things like that. So uh, anybody else have any comments for uh, Matilda? Me, I do. Yeah. Oh yes, please Becca. Yeah, yeah, I really am going to miss Matilda. I am so sorry to, I'm glad that you're, you're hanging with the organization even though you will not be on the board because you have done, uh, Matilda has inventoried every cable, every screw, every clip, every, every big piece of equipment and organized it in an amazing way. And everything has a tag and there's a huge inventory and you can search it and find what you want. And she organized it on shelves in a way that you can look at the inventory and know right where to go, which shelf, what shelf it's on, which bookcase it's in. It's amazing. It was a huge undertaking and it wasn't fun. <laughs> and so it wasn't like she organized an ice cream social. This was hard, boring work and it took forever and she continues to tweak it. So that was giant. And I just also want to thank her personally for shepherding me through many weird hurdles as I, at my the beginning as I came in and and every once in a while something strange will happen and Matilda is always there with an encouraging word and an idea and and a plan and she's um, she's really engaged she's been very engaged with community TV and kind of knows its ins and outs and has been a great help to me and I really appreciate meets with me every Friday she and Keith both and that is oh it's been very it's been wonderful to have her support so I'm sorry to see her go but I'm sure that she has fun stuff to do thank and you so I, much I Becca, just, Dr. Hall I please just, yeah I'd just like to say thank you and not I can't add too much to that but the one thing she got involved with I got really worried about is setting up K-Squid because I said oh my god that means she's going to have two media outlets and I hope that doesn't get her interest more than CTV so I'm glad you're going to be with us and I did help K-Squid and it was thanks to your uh, your endeavor and uh, but so you're a two media person and I hope you're able to spend a little of your media time still with us. Maybe we can um, create a, a special role of queen of all media and uh, <laughs> I think it's called multimedia. It's a lifetime appointment. Uh, Director Mannheim. Yeah, I also just wanted to thank you, Matilda. I've, you know, since I've been on the board, you, you've just been great to work with, and especially on some of the committees where we've, the Youth Grant Committee, uh, you know, it was just good working closely with you. I love the way you think about things. So thank you, and I'm sure I'll see you around. All right, any, any further comments? If not, Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Director O'Driscoll. Very quickly oh, sorry. And say that um, as an incoming chair, I'm going to be leaning on Matilda as an ex officio member of the board <laughs> for guidance and uh, hand holding plenty. So you can count on that. <laughs> right, Director O'Driscoll, I, I saw your hand up. I just wanted to thank Matilda for welcoming me and helping me when I first came on the board. I really appreciate it. And I hope we get to see you again soon. Yay. You can always come and address us at uh, oral communications. Yes. Right. OK, so as my final act as uh, board second. chair. Okay, I don't have a chance to say something. Oh, please, of course. Because what I want to say is that no one is as good as you try to make me <laughs> if it weren't for the other pieces and other people in our organization. I think we have a great organizational structure. Don't forget, you know, and I know you did that when Keith went off the board for a year uh, because of the term ended, uh, how much um, you shared, how much he is, was an integral part. And I feel that, you know, we're all part of a big wheel that you know makes the world go round in Santa Cruz uh, TV land, and so uh, I want to I want to say thank you to all of you who have been uh, working on the board and outside the board to make this a great organization. And I hope, of course, that David will join you because 
it is worth it. So thank you. Thank you, Matilda. And I'm sorry we don't have a cake for you. Um, so my my I think uh, my final act as chair is to hand the virtual gavel over to uh, new chair Lanier, and uh, I will I will now gratefully mute myself. Please take it away, um, Chair Lanier. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> so I guess um, what we have next is uh, item number seven on the regular agenda appointment to committees. Am I right? Yes. And I'm not quite sure how that um, proceeds. Um, we have the finance committee. I'm not even sure of all the committees that we have. So um, I can make a motion now, can't I? It's, yeah. it's in your packets. It's in your packets. Yeah, so there's an attachment there. Um, okay. And and I actually have a, a amendment to make to it uh, to suggest, to recommend. And I'm looking for it. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have our executive committee, which is always, um, you know, three members of the board. Um, finance committee, uh, membership I am dropping off and Chair Lanier is um, being added and our Chair of the Finance and Budget Committee is still Joe Hall. Uh, time well, also, Becca sent out a doodle. So did you get the new time for that, Guy? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. For, for Finance and Budget, yes. Yep. Go ahead, Matreya. Okay, Personnel Committee, uh, you are the chair of that as the chair of the board and um, I take Matilda's uh, place on that. And then our secretary, um, Larry, is uh, the other member of that. Governance committee has you as the chair, uh, Joe Hall and Tom Mannheim rounding it out. Uh, we have our youth grant committee, which is Elizabeth Shaw, me, Tom Mannheim, Janice O'Driscoll. And our ad hoc facilities committee, which has not given up the fight, is Joe Hall, Elizabeth Shaw, Janice O'Driscoll, Tom Mannheim. And the amendment I'd like to make is that um, Director Gudger is willing to stay on as the volunteer uh, advisory committee uh, chair, which I am grateful for, um, even though we're not sure how often it's going to meet over the next coming year. But um, so I will propose uh, that small amendment that we uh, accept the uh, adopt the CTV committee roster uh, as amended. Do we have a second? I'll second. All right, we have a motion by Director Maziarz and a second by Director O'Driscoll to accept the committee roster, community television committee roster, um, as stated with an amendment by Director Maziarz. I guess Secretary Laurent, you call the roll. Director Hall. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes. Director Mannheim. Yes. Director Maziarz. Yes. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Chair Lanier. Yes. All right, that is passed and so ordered. Let's see, I'm scrolling here. What's next? Um, I guess next on the agenda is item number eight, approval of the 2021 board calendar, meetings calendar. And we have that in our um, packet as well. The, the fourth Monday standing of each month. Let's see. Um, May works out because normally we have a, a conflict in May, but this year uh, Memorial Day is on the 30th. Oh, right. I see, okay. Um, so we have a, a suggested calendar in the packet um, our next meeting would be January 25th to review the current year budget at half year mark, including any adjustments. Um, any um, objections, suggestions? Thank you for that, Director Gudger. Do we have a motion on the calendar? I happily move that we adopt <laughs> this as our calendar for the 21, 2021 year. And we have a second. I'll second. 
Okay. Uh, moved by Director Mannheim and seconded by Director Gudger to approve the 2021 board calendar. Uh, Secretary, call the roll. Yes. Um, Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes. Director Mannheim. Yes. Director Maziars. Yes. Director Hall. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. And Chair Lanier. Yes. Okay. okay. So that is approved and so ordered. And let's see here. I'm scrolling through. Um, now uh, we have item number nine, approve the recommendation of the governance committee to adopt the amended check signing policy. And this has to do with some of our COVID precautions and um, e-signatures on checks that require two signatures in order to um, move things forward. Any discussion? I was just going to, I was just going to comment that it's, um, I, I think, we view this as something we discovered through the COVID, addressing COVID, but we want to make this a permanent change, um, allowing the second signature, the board member's signature, board officer's signature to be done electronically. Okay. I had a question. After yes. the yellow part, it says the signed stub will be attached to the invoice. I wanted to try and understand what that means when one signature at least is going to be a, a DocuSign. How does that work? Uh, I can comment on that since I've been doing that. Yeah, and, and I, I neglected, that is a, also a change. Uh, when I prepared the agenda, I've, I neglected to highlight that um, that was part of our temporary policy. So uh, the, the stub uh, the, the check stub is what is docu-signed by the uh, officer. So uh, Mel had been providing me with um, a scan of the check stub and the actual supporting documentation, which is the bill um, for which the check stub, uh, you know, is a record of payment. So I, I was docu-signing the, the check stub um, rather than the actual check. So she was scanning the, the check stubs and the bills and I was docu-signing the, the check stubs electronically. Is and, that, and I, can, I can share my screen and show an example if that would help. After you sign it on DocuSign, what does she attach to the invoice? Um, no, it's attached to the invoice in DocuSign. Okay. So there's no physical attachment? No, it's part of one uh, DocuSign lingo they call an envelope. Um, would you like me to share? No, I'm just trying to screen. correlate it with the old practice because it says the executive director still must sign it in person is the way I read this. Is that true? I still do that. Yeah. It's the, it's the, um, check. it's the board rep that DocuSigns. And so Becca signs the check. Yeah. And I, I DocuSign the, uh, the invoice too. I docu-sign that, and then then it goes to Matreya, and he gets the docu the thing that I docu-sign plus the goes, check goes to Gee. Uh, well, it goes to Gee, <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets the. And then or he, actually, it could go to me because I'm the vice chair. So and and we're saying officer. Yeah, so be, uh, or it could go to Joe, yeah, and um, so uh, that, that's just sort of a second approval to sign the check, and then so, I sign the check. So maybe maybe um, Keith, uh, to make it less ambiguous, maybe the signed. The e signed stub with that with the electronically signed stub would that disambiguate that sentence better? Well, I thought you were saying the e signed stub is electrically electronically attached to the check document. It's not physically attached to the check. Whereas it's attached to the invoice. Right. Becca's signed. My signature's real. Yeah, and it shows up on the invoice, and then there's actually a check stub, a physical check stub attached to the invoice when the check is sent off. I just wanted to get it clear what's what is physically attached and what is virtually oh. attached. That's yeah. all. And then, well, then Mel takes that all and makes it, I believe, physical <laughs> and puts it in a and keeps it in our backup. Oh, actually, it gets saved in QuickBooks. Oops. 
it's scanned or something or it's yeah some, yeah um would would you like me to try to bring up uh an example would that be I, helpful i don't need to see it i just want to know what the process is that we're agreeing to okay it's a little unclear to me from the words what we're agreeing to ah uh. You should be on the uh, governance committee then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a, I have a, I have a question too, uh, Montreya, and Tom, you can help me on the memory up on the first paragraph, uh, kind of the third sentence that says, "Or in the absence of the executive director," I thought instead of saying the assistant director, we put the designee of the executive director. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's there, but I didn't highlight it. Yeah, it's there in the uh, amended there. text. It's 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 there in the amended text, but I didn't I didn't oh, okay. highlight it. And oh, amended. Okay, okay. I was okay. Got it. Oh, I see. Take care. Got okay. it. Okay. Or the executive director's designee. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Keith, can I you... make a suggestion? I hate to, yeah. um, but given uh, Keith's question about this. I think it would be clear to say the electronically, just add the word electronically before the word sign. So it would read the electronically signed stub will be attached to the invoice. Hey. Okay. As long as that's okay with the governance committee. Yes. 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 So we could have a motion to accept this with the amended language by Director Mannheim. Tom, do you want to make that? Motion? Be happy to make the motion. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion by Director Mannheim, seconded by Director Maziars to accept the Governance Committee amendment to check signing policy with the amendment that um, the electric electronically signed stub will be attached to the invoice, adding the word electronically. Is that State yeah. it correctly. Okay. Um, call the question. Yeah. Director uh, Laurent. Yeah. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Gudger. Oh, yeah. Director Manheim. Yes. Director Maziars. Aye. Director Hall. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Chair Maz Tra Chair Lanier. Sorry. <laughs> It'll yes. take a couple times. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, moved and so ordered. Um, I think we are at the executive director's report. Am I right? We have a resolution. No. One, one more, one more order of business is uh, the check, uh, not the check signing, but the um, uh, number ten. The folks who can uh, who are on the bank accounts. Oh, um, well, that's not listed on the agenda. Um, uh oh. Yeah, he, yeah, sent yeah. Amended, he sent an amended agenda. Oh, if you oh, don't I have the amended, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, As vice chair, would you like me to read the item? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah. okay. so uh, yeah, item 10 on the amended uh, agenda, the revised agenda, was consider adopting board resolution 003 2020, uh, which is the approval of authorized signatures for the bank account. So that basically um, adds you, uh, Chair Lanier, and drops. Uh, Emeritus Vice Chair Rand. Okay. I'll move. We adopt the resolution. I second. Okay, we have a motion by Director Gudger and seconded by Director O'Driscoll to adopt the resolution, adding, we'll adopt the resolution. Okay. And so we call the question. Okay. Secretary, call the order. Uh, Director Hall. Yes. Director Maziars. Aye. Director Mannheim. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Chair Lanier. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. So now we are at the new item 11, which is a report by the executive director. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, so this is my report for October. And um, as uh, Joe mentioned, we are in the pipeline for an EIDL loan, but um, we've been sitting still in the pipeline for a while. And they've checked back in with me and complimented us on providing everything 
precisely as they like it and all of the potential things, but nothing has happened. And they say to me, well, you're in funding and that doesn't mean funded. So um, we're waiting still, but they haven't said no. They say we're approved. So I think they might be waiting for money in that pipeline, but um, we're still we're still in there. We're in the game at this point. On the PPP, we expect our loan will be forgiven because we meet all the qualifications for forgiveness. The government has issued new streamlined reporting guidance for loans under 50,000 and our loan was 32, so we're right in there. But they haven't released the guidance yet. They've instructed us to wait for a letter for them and they will give us um, like a one page form to fill out. So what we think is that there are so many of these little loans, they don't have the wherewithal to audit them all. They're just gonna want us to certify what we did with it and that they'll probably check on them, do a spot check kind of thing. So um, we're waiting. And as soon as we get that, um, we'll, we'll move forward. Mel is ready. We've got all our numbers and uh, we're ready to go. Uh, Co-working. Um, our break-even number, as you know, is like 10,000 a month that we've adjusted for this uh, time of COVID. And um, our projection for September was 9,500, but we only earned five on, on paper. We actually earned more, but we have one uh, a large client who pays net 30. And so even though we send them a bill, uh, they, they don't give us their credit card. They're a big big group. So they don't give us a credit card like everyone else. Usually we just run everybody's credit card on the 28th. But for these guys, we send an invoice and then they don't pay it for a long time. So um, they paid us in November. So we do have, uh, so we bounced back. So um, in uh, October, we were low, but uh, we're rebounding. And in November, we've earned 11,627 uh, when I wrote this on the 16th. So we're, we're, we're coming back, it's okay, it just looks terrible. Um, under paid services, we had 18 government meetings in September, or sorry, October. That says September, but that's not true. Sorry, I forgot to fix that. And uh, we did um, six webinars in October. We've installed the caption equipment for the city of Santa Cruz, which is a good first step. And it is captioning. Um, we have some, unusual technical issues with it still. It's not quite doing what we want, but um, uh, Victor feels like he'll have it fixed pretty soon. It's, it's captioning on TV, but not streaming captions. So we'll get that fixed. Um, we think it's a Comcast thing. So Victor's working with Comcast. Um, under um, mission programming, we have um, created a new program called Joining Me Now, which is an interview show as an intern project. And our three interns have been working away on it. Each one of them is producing their own episode. So they're learning everything. They've learned how to find good guests, how to um, identify a good guest. And then they, they called all their, their potential guests and figured out which ones would be the best for television and have created um, lists of questions. And at this point we have actually, I've done all the interviews and they are now editing their, their show together. And today they gave me the open that they've created and I wanna show it to you if I can. Let's see, I'm gonna share my screen and I think it's right here. Wait, yeah. Can you hold on one second while I get some popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing because we have never really had a real good crop of interns all the time we've been open we've never been able to get any to come and now in the pandemic they're coming and they all were disappointed that we couldn't open the studio but um they're still doing a great job so we're doing this remotely so let me share the screen where, where, are, the, where, where are the interns from wait oh well one from san jose state and two from ucsc oh cool yeah, it's pretty fun. So this is what they made. Let's see, here we go. Hi, Bordy. Hi, Bordy. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I thought they did a really Very good nice. job. That's great. And they did it, they did it pretty much by themselves. I gave them a template, but they filled all the pictures in and made it work and did the music. And yeah, I'm really happy with 
with their and work. They did so. it all um, uh, really? without coming together physically. Yeah, they all they worked at home on Adobe Cloud. So it's been <laughs> it's weird, but it's worked. We did all the interviews on uh, except for one. We did two. We've done all the interviews on Zoom. One of our subjects, um, you probably you may know him, Curtis uh, Relaford. Relaford, yeah. That, drives around with the big truck. He doesn't right. have any technology. So he came into the RSVP. So he was, uh, Ian set it up for him and then he went in by himself and we did the interview. And then at the end of the interview, instead of ending the recording, I ended the meeting and I disappeared. And he was in the room by himself. <laughs> <laughs> he I was trying to call him to let him out of the room and I, and I couldn't get Ian to answer the phone. And I was like, oh, this poor guy. But um, <laughs> He is very self-sufficient. He left the room on his own. <laughs> it was it worked out okay, but it made me feel bad. So um, that that happened. But it was um, other than that, it went really well. We got three great people. We got um, uh, a, a wildlife, a kind of noted wildlife photographer um, in town, Jody. Um, Jodiani. Jody Frediani, yeah, she was a great guest and we've got great photos. She lets us use all her award-winning photos. And uh, we also interviewed the executive director from the Sea Odyssey, who has a really interesting backstory. So great shows, I think. And um, our, their parameters were they had to be people in Santa Cruz County and they had to be, uh, we, I was, you know, they had to be interesting, <laughs> which is kind of broad, but they did a good job. Now, because I did that, I have lost my meeting notes. So let me just, <laughs> just a moment while I find what happened to my ED report. Oh, that's so weird. I don't know why it's just not sitting here. There it is. There it is. There we go. I'm almost back on track. Okay. So um, that's our mission programming. And um, we're, I'm really proud of the work they've done. And I hope we can do it again. And, um, they in November you can see they recorded their interviews and they're beginning to edit next month they'll complete their episodes and they're going to make some promos so um, they're doing the show just like we would in normal TV so hopefully this helps them when they go uh, looking for jobs when they graduate mm -hmm. on social media we have uh, we are we are not doing so much with the fires anymore um, if if something comes up about them we post it it's mostly recovery now. And with the coronavirus, we have done um, more press conferences since this happened. And sometimes we, um, we shoot them if we get enough um, warning, but they kind of treat us like a regular news organization. So they'll just tell, they'll just like post at 10 o'clock in the morning that they're having one today. And sometimes we can't get an operator, but we usually can find a recording. So Victor's been really good at getting that, getting those recordings and getting them on the air, even if we don't shoot them ourselves. So we haven't missed any. And um, uh, that's, that's a, um, we've been not only putting those on television, but we also put them in our, we put links to them in our social media and we put them on our website. And um, that's, that's our, that's my report for November. All right. Thank you very much. Or, sorry. That's my report for October. <laughs> in November. Yeah. I always do it for a month behind because the numbers used to be wacky. If I did it the third week, we wouldn't have them all and we'd be guessing. So now we just look at the month past. Okay, thank you. Um, let's move to item number 12. We have an oral report from the Volunteer Advisory Committee Chair. Okay, so obviously the volunteers are not coming into the facility, so there's not a lot to report there. I did have a nonprofit contact me about doing PSA Day, which we still can't do because that requires being in the facility. And instead, I offered her the option of doing a virtual public service announcement. So we did that last Friday. Uh, it came out a minute and 45 seconds, which you may know is 15 <laughs> seconds too long for the break between our programs. So she agreed to let me cut 15 seconds out for the version that I'm posting for community television. So if you know nonprofits who have events coming up, the community calendar is still functional and we're updating that. And if they want to do a PSA, I'm happy to work with them to do a virtual one and Great. get it on our channels. That's it. That's 
Thank you, Keith. Uh, item number 13, sort of appropriate, oil report of board chair. Um, I haven't had any time to prepare a report, sorry. I'll call <laughs> on the vice chair. Have anything you'd like to say, um, outgoing report or? Um, I, I, uh, I can't nope. say, I, I will say that um, if Matilda was still on the board, she might chide you for wearing a logo on your chest there. Uh, whenever we had a mug, whenever I had a mug that had a logo on it, you know, I know it's a worthy organization, but. Uh, <laughs> That's true, okay, I'm standing they're, not, they're a nonprofit, but um, no, uh, I, I have no outgoing report uh, other than to say that I'm uh, yeah, glad that we're all keeping this, this ship afloat and sure. grateful for uh, our executive director's uh, leadership of the organization and, and all the, uh, board members dedication. Well, I, I will say that um, I want to thank you all for your um, confidence in roping me into this. Um, Tom roped me into it about a year and a half or two years ago, I guess, in the first place. And it's been a really a pleasure to be a part of this board. And it's a, been a learning experience of sort of dipped some toes into it, but now and getting tossed right into the deep end. So I'll have to um, lean on uh, everyone here to help make this a smooth transition uh, now that we've finally agreed to make a transition as in as others have had have done today finally um, so I'm looking forward to it and there'll be some stumbles in a way but we'll just um, plow on through so thank you um, let's see Item number 14, board member staff request for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Any? No. No? Okay. We'll move on to <laughs> number 15, any announcements um, folks would like to make? Director Hall, you're muted, sir. Uh, you're still muted there, Joe. He's looking for something. So you can tell by the way his fingers yeah. are flicking. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just I did a little trip before. I don't know if we're sequestered now or what we are, but I went up and looked at the Felton uh, oh, uh, great. Good. satellite. And it was more impressive than I thought. Uh, and there was actually somebody working in there. I don't know if that was legal or not. I didn't say anything. And I didn't go in because it was locked. But... Um, you know, there's a lot to talk about, but it was more impressive than I thought because I remember what used to be in there and I really couldn't shape my image of that. And it has <laughs> changed. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, throw that out and let you know. Thank you, Joe. Well, thank you. Great. That's good to know. All right, moving right along. Um, item 16, I don't know if we're going to be able to adjourn since we don't have a designated adjournment maker, but we'll, I'll throw it out there. I'll, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting of the community television. I'll move that we adjourn. All right. Vice Chair, and Vice Chair Maziarz and Director O'Driscoll second. Should we have acclamation or a roll call? Acclamation. All right. All in favor say Happy Bye. Thanksgiving. Bye. Happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> See you next year, everybody. If not right. soon. Right. Thank you all. Uh, meeting Have is adjourned at 5.53. Thanks very much. Have Thank a great you. holiday. Thank all right, you. great holiday, everybody. I'll be in touch with you all for help. All right. <laughs> Happy to help. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.